one of the benefits our clients get here is they get to pick whatever music they want to listen to. So, my wonderful client Jackie loves Taylor Swift. And what do you hear? Some Taylor Swift. I was teaching Betsy this landmine RDL, and there were a few things that stood out that could go wrong. And then we fixed them, and so I wanted to share them with you guys really, really quickly. So, what we're going to have her do is walk up to the bar, and one thing that happened that stood out right away is when she went to do these, she said, Hey, do I go all the way to the ground? My response is, if you're actively loading your hips and you're scooping your butt back, you're going to find that tension far before you reach the ground. But if you're not scooping them and you're bending, it's not going to happen. So what we want to focus on is actively gripping the ground, our big toe and pinky toe, somewhat spread the ground apart, back in our glutes, and then we're just scooping. So we're kind of Moving it back, find that tension while keeping a neutral spine. That's what we're looking for. Because we don't want the chest to fall, we want to still keep those shoulders back. Find that tension as early as possible. So when you watch Betts right now, she deadlifts it up, and now she's going to act and skew that butt back, come through to with your butt. Every rep, find that tension really early, nice control all the way down, and then she comes through and finishes every rep. All right, just left the gym for the morning. It's about 11.15 a.m. It's finished up the sessions, and I just got some pretty sobering news. If you watched my previous video the other day where I was coming out of mass and I was talking about this life is only a blink of an eye compared to eternity, and my goal with my life is to live a life of significance, live as, as much as Christ would want us to so he remembers me at that judgment day whenever I'm at the gates of heaven but I just found out that one of my clients is has a high chance they found two masses one big one on our lungs one one of just an, uh, a high up on our ribs and it's very high chance that she has cancer and I feel very nauseous right now um, just you just never know. You never freaking know. And the fact that she's lost so, so much, she's just transformed her health and then finds this out and has an grandchildren and I mean, it's just scary. And so what I wanna say is be present. I struggle with this all the time. Be present in your day. Don't ever think you're just trying to kill time because time is so frigging precious. This life is over in a blink of an eye. And tell those people you, you love, you love them every single day. Go home, call your parents, call your wife, t look at your, tell your kids, I I'm going home right now. I'm gonna give my mom and my dad the biggest hug and kiss and tell them I love them and I appreciate them and find those people in your life and make sure to reach out to them because you never know. You never know. You yeah, have I love you. I appreciate you. You're amazing. You give me so much strength and uh, I mean, I'm so lucky and blessed to have you. I just, I know at times I don't say it enough. I love you so much. I love you and dad and you guys have shaped me into the person I am today, and I mean that 100,000% even though sometimes it doesn't seem like it. So, I love you, and I'm going to tell you I love you every single day, and hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> but, I love you. I love you. I appreciate you saying all that to me. Of course. Give your parents a hug. Give your freaking parents a hug and a kiss. You never know. So today for lunch, I gotta get my mood up. I gotta, things happen. Things happen, everything happens for a reason, but I gotta, gotta push forward and control what I can control. So 
Tell my parents I love them. I'm gonna reach out to people I, I know love and um, tell them I love them as well. And so today, to try and cheer myself up, I'm gonna be making some uh, some of my uh, low fat, high protein macaroni. And we're gonna put that into a burrito with some other goodies in there and I'll show you what that looks like. And then also I'm gonna be making another pizuki. But this time, wait until you see what this one looks like. It'll cheer me up. Okay, so here we have all of our ingredients. Our 96.4 lean ground beef, our lava spread, our green peppers and uh, sauteed broccoli, and the kicker, that low fat, high protein mac and cheese. And look at that. Let's see if I can get some, some of that, that good lighting. Some of that mac and cheese. Oh yeah. We are now all rolled up and ready to go. Look how big that thing is. Oh man. When your burrito is done and you are so unbelievably excited. It's like Christmas. We good? Oh my gosh, you can see some cheese coming out already. And when we unveil the gains. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The gains are so real right now. And of course, the live taste test. I hope this doesn't get on my shirt, but it is what it is. Here we have, but it is what it is. Here we have, this is one side of the burrito. Look at all those gains in there, can you see it? Oh yeah. Moment of truth. Just look at all that Mac right there. Just look at all that Mac. Man. On point again. When that fruity pebble protein pizuki comes out of the oven and you are so excited. Oh boy. Look at that cheesecake icing with the fruity pebbles on it. And that fruity crisp Oreo and that bluebell vanilla. Just look at that. Fruity Crisp Oreo Pazuki. And of course, the live taste test, as always. Just look at it. Oh my gosh. All right, quick taste test, because this sucker's still warm. And it's melting everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's still gooey again. A little bit of ice cream on there. So as you can see, come on, focus. So you can see that little, oh my gosh, look at it. That beautiful, oh my gosh, it's dripping. I gotta eat it. I gotta do it for the team, I gotta eat it. I mean, this, it just melts in your freaking mouth. My gosh. I just want to show you my view. Just look, look at that icing. And then you see all that gooey pizuki gains right there. When you go in the bathroom, you go change to get your, start your workout, start your lower body session. 
and you walk out and you forgot to put your pants on. I know all the cool kids lift in tights, so I said, screw it. I'm gonna see what this is all about. And I kinda like it. And I didn't wanna like it because I'm lifting right now and I'm like looking, like, like I keep looking out the window and the last thing I want is somebody to walk in and see me lifting in my tights. Cause I don't care if I'm judged, but like a guy lifting in his tights, I'd be a little, uh, a little worried about him. And I don't want people to worry about me. Alrighty, coming at you strong with those sweet tights on. Oh man, please do not judge me. But it felt good to squat in only tights, <laughs> believe it or not. But what I started this workout with was three sets of five at 265, and then I went to one set of eight, and then one set of 12. So the set of eight was at 245, the set of 12 was at 225. Squat is still feeling pretty heavy. I mean, I'm, I'm maintaining my strength with my squat. I'm just really trying to focus on that form and um, just ready to progress on I really am. And then after these, I moved on to some tempo sumo deadlifts. Uh, if you watched my last, my last training session, my sumo deadlift looked like crap. I, um, I was, my hips were really, really shooting up off the ground. And so what I did was, I went with the tempo right off the ground, I dropped the weight, so I did all my sets at 245 for sets of eight, I did four sets of eight. So what I was doing is focus on three second, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three along my shins and then popping through with my hips. And this ensured that I'd stay tight and I would minimize my hips shooting up. They wanted to, but they didn't. And I could feel these in my glutes and my hamstrings and my quads so much more with this tempo. It was unbelievable. So I'm definitely gonna be throwing these in more, especially until I'm really trying to progress on these. And then after these, I moved on to four sets of 12 total steps of one plus one, uh, walking lunge plus split squat. So as you can see, I would do a walking lunge and then I'd do a split squat. And I did these with 155 pounds. And so it's 24 total reps. So you can see this is one step right here and then two reps. And so I did 12 total steps um, for these. And these are these feel really good. They're challenging. I can really push the weight. And I, I've noticed that on single leg movements, I'm much lighter than but much better than whenever I do two, two foot movements, like a, like a regular squat. And that's something I need to improve on over time. But overall, I do, I do enjoy these. And you can get an upfront close view of my sweet tights. Watch where you're looking, people. And now we moved into last, the, uh, we hit some glute ham raises, four sets of 15. These are just my favorite. I mean, the contraction you feel in your hamstring is just unbelievable. And so after these, I hit five sets of 15 leg extensions, and then I hit some cable, cur I mean, cable uh, crunches and some hanging leg raises to finish out the training session. And with these glute ham raises, really focus on pulling through your heels and keeping your body as flat as possible. So now I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and let's keep it going. That sock game dough today. Got the donuts. Elite. Sock game fresh. Tonight's dinner of choice is the this the staple big salad so i want to post the macros of this on the screen and all my my future meals i'm going to have the macros on the screen and so just to give you a heads up this one's under 500 calories so yeah salad gains when your parents sit down make some popcorn and are watching episode seven of the pursuit series <laughs> Just look Watch at those games.
Oh, you're called yeah, game. Wait till I have a taste test. Because that's everything is about the game. When you go to the freezer and you open it up and you remember, oh my gosh, this looks like, like when you're going to heaven. You take out this skillet and you remember you still have half of that Fruity Pebble, Fruity Crips Oreo, Pazuki left. Oh boy, stay tuned. So it's starting to come together. Look at the Fruity Pebble. Half of the Pazuki that we have left, the Frosted, with some, some of that cherry pie filling and fresh blueberries on top with some of that vanilla protein icing on top of some cherry jello almost done almost done but add that salt and the final product that cool whip and that nice cherry on top Oh yeah, taste test coming soon. And as always, the live taste test. Just admire. Oh yeah, and the pazuki. Oh man. Get some of that cherry pie filling on there. Oh man. Let's see if I can get you a good view. That. Delayed gratification. It's a beautiful thing. I said no earlier. I'm saying yes now. So if this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching at this point. Stay tuned. I'm trying to come out with these as much as I can. So just keep watching and I'll keep putting them out there. Leave a comment. Give me give me some recipe ideas. What do you guys want to see? I'm thinking something crazy. So give me some ideas. Thanks and God bless.